Welcome! In this tutorial, we are building self-hosted Telegraph-like blog platform in a single prompt in just 3 minutes. I am going to show you how I use my own tools and AI assistance to build applications from scratch quick and easy. I rarely write code manually these days. About 90% of the code in my projects is generated by narrow networks. I've been doing this for the past two years and during that time I've developed my own approach to app development and created some tools to make the process more efficient. Let's begin with what you need to have on your system to get started. To work on this project you will need Python version 3.10 or higher, pip for installing dependencies, git to manage repository, docker desktop, free pun is more than enough, cursor editor or access to any AI tool, snap to text utility and prototype repo, this is a project base. You will find all the links under the video. Begin by cloning the prototype repository with a new project name. Prototype is a quick start kit for Django projects running in Docker. Open your terminal, run the git clone command with repo address to create a new project folder named tabnode. Then change into that directory with cd tabnode and execute script setup sh. In seconds, Docker spin up a container with basic Django app, Docker file, Docker compose configuration, and helper for OpenAI. Let's verify the container is running. Open Docker desktop, check logs under the web tab and navigate to localhost 1909 in your browser. Now open the project in cursor. First initialize git with git init and make your initial commit. Then you snap to text utility to convert your entire project into a single prompt ready text file. This text file projectcontents.txt captures the directory structure and file contents. Now it's time to detail the task. I provide a structured prompt to the composer chat. The prompt is divided into three main groups. Functional requirements, styling requirements, and additional notes. I won't go into details of the prompt here. You can find the full prompt by the link under the video. Insert the prompt into composer. After a few seconds, the tool creates and populates the required files. In the composer file list, click accept to save them. Then execute generated comments. Now let's ensure that everything is working. Let's open or refresh localhost at 1909 and let's type in a test node and then publish it. The node appears under unique URL, renders properly with markdown, all elements styled as defined. Then we test the edit functionality by ensuring that edit button appears when the correct cookie is present. Once satisfied, let's make the final git commit. In this project we have only two commits, when we need the project and after the prototype is ready. This project was created to demonstrate how quickly you can move from concept to working solution with proper tooling and AI. The approach that I showed you here can be used not only with Cursor Editor, but with any AI chat tool available to you. For some projects, it's even more reasonable to use greater models than Sonnet 3.5. From this video, big reasoning models like OpenAI's O1 and the newest O3 are perfect for complicated programming tasks, but they require additional instructions for precise results. I will cover it in future videos. Thank you for watching.